Hello friends, my name is Dr. Harsimran Brad and I have completed my MBBS from Mulana Zad Medical College. I have scored 254 in Step 1 and 265 in Step 2 CK. In this series of videos, I will be sharing my strategies in how to perform well in USMLE exams. If you like this video, do share your views in the comment section below. So Simran, I want to know how did you manage the first eight along with the books that you studied? Because it, it is easy to read first eight again and again. But is it possible to read the books that you have mentioned again and again? Well, absolutely not. Our basic aim is to have complete understanding of each and every word that is written in first aid. And for that, we can refer to any textbook. And once you have the understanding, just leave the textbook and that solves your purpose. So this is a very important point that you have emphasized. I have heard from students who are preparing for USMLE. They say that each and every word of USMLE first aid is important. Right. So we need to understand each and every word of first aid. So can you explain us by giving examples? How did you study pathology? How did you study physiology during your MBBS days? How did you form the basic understanding of these subjects? Well. Uh of course, first aid is important, but to understand the concepts, mm. I used to study textbooks whichever, whichever we followed during the MBBS days. And also I used to watch videos by Dr. Najib, mm -hmm. especially for physiology and neuroanatomy. Mm -hmm. And for pathology, I used to study pathoma. Mm -hmm. And once I have the complete understanding of uh, the topics, mm -hmm. and once I'm able to solve all the questions in the U world, mm -hmm. then uh, it was it was enough for me we can judge ourselves by doing the u world questions right so if we are able to do the u world questions then we we see that we have a good understanding of those subjects right suppose if i'm not able to get all the questions correct in the u world then what do i need to do well of course uh, during the first uh, attempt in, in the u world we never score 100 percent or 90 percent how much do you use to score well, uh, my percentile was between uh, 80 to 90. Okay. And how did you improve on it? Well, uh, I did uh, the U World twice mm -hmm. and uh, I also read uh, the first aid and uh, the the, uh, the points which I noted from the U World. Mm -hmm. uh, I revised them again and again mm -hmm. and that's why I stress on the revision part of mm -hmm. our profession. So the 10 to 20 percent questions that you were not able to solve, how, how did you work on them? Well, uh, you can definitely uh, refer to all the textbook as I said, but you can also use internet. Uh, just search on Google and read about the topic and write down the important points you find. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, you should improve your understanding about the topic. Mm -hmm. So as you are saying that you follow Dr. Najib's videos for physiology, for anatomy and for various other subjects. So I feel that Dr. Rajiv sir's videos are very huge. Right. So how do I do, do them? I never get a motivation to do them. Well, I used to uh, watch them in 2.5x mm -hmm. and uh, I watched them during my third year of MBBS mm -hmm. and I had ample amount of time to watch those videos mm -hmm. and it was all worth it once I completed all the videos. I, I, I was very confident about the subjects. Okay. So can you tell us in third year which videos you watched? I watched uh, pathoma videos also and I watched uh, uh, neuroanatomy and uh, uh, various organ system videos by doc Dr. Najib whichever were available. Which organ system? Or like cardiovascular system, renal system, uh, autoimmune and uh, immunology and all, all of the videos. So these videos are subject wise or they have all the subjects? incorporated in these videos well uh, they go by the system organ system okay. and in each organ system uh, he has explained uh, physiology and uh, some of the pathologies also okay okay so in one system he tries to cover the physiology as well the anatomy as well and the pathology as well. right okay so if someone has started uh, thinking about us assembly uh, after the mbbs mm -hmm. so can you watch dr najib sir's videos uh, then it makes really hard mm -hmm. to watch N Dr. Najib videos because it is really time consuming. Uh, the best shot then is just to read the first aid mm -hmm. and refer uh, to the Kaplan books in, in each of the topic that you find difficult. What did you do in your final year for the assembly? 
well uh, in the final year i i didn't get too much of time to study especially for the usmle i just studied for my profs mm -hmm. and uh, it actually helped in the end uh, because i was able to study medicine and surgery and uh, it helped me in uh, studying anatomy and physiology and pathology and of course pharmacology also okay and in terms of when did you actually uh, started focusing seriously on the usmle prepare well i started uh, almost in the end of my internship during november okay and uh, by the end of uh, april uh, i i completed the whole of the u world and uh, and i i after internship or during internship during internship during the end of the internship 